What's up guys? So we've shot way up. It's about 300 trophies gained in the last couple of hours. Still using the Jason deck modified here with the fireball instead of the arrows. It is working out really, really solid. So let's go take a look at this win streak here. So a couple of draws here and there. A lot of wins. One defeat there. And you can see a huge winning streak. And then we had another defeat back there. So let's jump into a live game here. See if we can pull off another victory or two and push even further. I believe we're at our near all-time high record right now. So it's a lot of it is just playing good. It's a little bit hard to play good when you're uh, trying to commentate as well. So we're going to try our best to do this. So pop the Electric Collector in the back. He put a Royal Giant up in the very top corner. That's a very interesting play. I haven't seen that play before. Uh, we're going to drop some Archers in the back here to meet up in the middle with the Royal Giant. We're going to Fireball all that as that's going to be quite tanky HP wise. He's going to drop that Toxic spell and then the Arrows which is a good play. Did a lot of damage there with his Royal Giants and Toxic. At this point, we're going to fill up our energy bar and we're going to do a little mini attack here with the Spear Goblins. He's going to drop a Collector, so we're going to go ahead and uh, push an attack there on the right. We're going to wait until he actually drops something to deploy our barbarians on the left right there and then the archer so we're kind of like decoying on the right there the giant's going to soak up a lot of that damage uh and now the left here is going to get a free attack in doing a good chunk of damage he drops the toxic spell we can drop a, a hog on the right here so we're attacking both sides kind of simultaneously and he doesn't really know which way to go he dropped the collector which gave us some elixir advantage we drop a fireball hit those guys got really lucky uh hit I think three out of four of those barbarians. Now he dropped another collector, so we can drop our collector back here. You really don't want to drop a collector unless someone's dropping a building or a collector themselves, because you go to down a five elixir, uh, you know, deficit. And right now we've taken a nice lead here. He does have the elixir advantage though. Again, he's going with his big giant push there. So let's counter push on the right. And once again, we're going to drop a little bit more, and then we're going to fireball up there. And wow, he's dropping two Royal Giants. We are in trouble with that push right there, I think. So we've taken down one Royal Giants. But he got the right tower there. We're going to drop a Collector up there to try to distract... The Royal Giant, we've taken down and we've tied it back up. He's going to knock down our tower there on the left. We're dropping a hog, so hopefully the hog can get a couple hits. And he's going to play a nice defensive Elixir Collector. And I think that's going to wrap it up here. Good game. Very, very well played. The Royal Giant is a really strong card right now, as you can see. It's hard to defend. Lots of HP. He pretty much gets a couple of shots off regardless of what you do and that's the first time I've seen someone actually kind of load him up and drop him way in the back and then just kind of build a push around him generally they drop him up front right at the uh, at the line at the bridge and I think dropping him in the back is the more correct play with the royal giant so we'll have to try and figure out what to counter that giant with so we drop a collector we can drop a collector now so we'll go and give him the thumbs up here and he's going to drop a Toxic spell, which is very interesting. A lot of people are using that poison. We'll drop the Spear Goblins up here since we're full energy. He drops his Spear Goblins to counter. Let's go ahead and do a little push on the left there with the Hog and the Barbarians. We're going to Fireball in the middle there since the Hog got up there. And we want to hurt the bar, the uh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie is now in death row with the tower. Tower's going to take that thing down. Uh, we can drop a collector, I believe. I believe we're okay on elixir. He's going to go and counter with the collector as well. We'll put it on the other side now because we don't want 
him to get the uh, additional advantage of toxicing, poisoning the same tower over and over again. So he dropped a balloon here. We're going to be able to counter that with our archers and spear goblins. And he zaps the tower to get one shot in. Nice play there. Let's go ahead and drop. He's going to drop something else to counter that giant there. So we're going to drop a hog on the left. Oh, and he drops an inferno in the middle. A very good counter, actually. Hovering with the fireball just in case. Decide to pull off on that. We're going to build up elixir here. So he's actually taking the lead in this match. And now he dropped a collector as well. So we're at a standstill here. Let's go drop the goblins up there. And the next time he drops his balloon out, we're going to be ready for him with our minion horde. We're going to drop barbarians and then archers and then throw a fireball on the Valkyrie. The archers will take that down. We're going to get a good amount of damage until he drops his spear goblins. So we are ready, like I said, with our minion horde there. Dropping some spear goblins in the background. I haven't seen an arrows out of him yet, so it does not look like he has arrows. Let's go ahead and continue our push there. Actually, he dropped a poison, and that's going to hurt a lot. The hog right there is going to get killed fairly easy. At this point, we're going to defend with our elixir collector up in the middle. And so it does not look like he has arrows. So let's go ahead and drop a giant. And then let's go ahead and drop the minion horde there. We'll use the spear goblins to take out his inferno tower. And now we're going to drop some archers, barbarians up there. And he's going to get one hit. Let me throw a fireball just... To try, and he's going to take down that tower, and it's going to be all over. So we wasted our minion horde. We shouldn't have attacked with the minion horde, I guess. And there we go. So it seems like every time we play and try and commentate at the same time, we uh, get our asses kicked. But yeah, it's a difference. It's like playing really, really good. You'll win matches, and then like... Playing carelessly or making one little mistake will cost you the entire match. So let's wait and see what he does here. And then he dropped a musketeer. We'll drop some barbarians way in the back there. He's going to fireball. Nicely done. I'll give him the thumbs up there. We're going to drop the collector, but then we saw that he dropped the royal giant right there. And then so we're going to drop a hog, and the hog should lead the way here, hopefully. Nope, 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 nope. So if the hog led the way there, we would have got a lot of damage on the tower. You can see the minions are doing tons of work on that cannon. So we just timed it a little bit off. We needed to drop the hog a, like a split second before. And we probably would have taken that tower down because most of the minions would have been alive. He didn't throw an arrow, so that probably means he doesn't have arrows just like before. So let's drop a giant kind of middle back there in the middle. Let's see what he plays. So at that point, he's playing the Musketeer and the Valkyrie. We're going to just let him build up. As we don't really have too much answers for the Valkyrie and the Musketeer there, so... We were going to fireball if he threw another troop down. And you can see his giant did a ton of damage on our tower on the right there. Let's drop a collector there in the back. Now it's just full waiting game. We're going to drop a giant. And then we're going to have some barbarians up there. To kill the musketeer. Nice. He's got a fireball. So he has a fireball. We're going to go push with a giant minion horde. He's going on the other side. So can he get up there? Minion horde, go! And the minion horde does not get up there. Well, they get up there and they don't do much damage. Though. Wow, this is a level 9 royal giant. He 
A good fireball there. Let's throw our hog up there. Should we be able to get a hit or two in? Can we get two hits and we can get this? Yes, we got two hits. So now we're going to take the lead here. 18 seconds. All we have to do is hold for 18 seconds, 15 seconds, 14 seconds. So where is that royal giant coming out? We know where the giant is right there. He's going after a weaker tower. So we're going to go and defend ASAP. And again, oh, takes it down. Does he have a fireball coming out? Does he? No, no, not enough time. Right there, split second, half a second. And he could have tied that up there. And then he was uh, way ahead there on that other tower. So very, very close game there. Let's jump right back into another one here. And as you can see, as any mistake, any mistake whatsoever can cost you a match there. Split second. All you had to do was fireball a split second earlier, and he would have had that match. I'm going to start off with some Spear Goblins up in front. Get some free damage on the tower there. We'll go drop those Barbarians in the back. He's going to fireball the Barbarians and the tower. Nicely done. We're going to hold off at this moment. And we'll go ahead and put a giant more on the left side. We saw him drop that wizard. So now it was time to drop a giant semi in attack mode. Ooh, and he's dropping a very good combo there. Because I wanted to drop the minion horde. But I can't because the wizard will just tear those minion hordes up. And as you can see, the minions get destroyed. So a very strong combo there. Giant and the wizard can pretty much only be countered by Barbarians, which even the Barbarians will eventually get destroyed by the Wizard right there. Very, very strong counter. Maybe a mini P.E.K.K.A. or P.E.K.K.A. will be a good counter against that, which we don't have in our deck. So dropping a Valkyrie in the back. We'll save up a little bit more energy, get to max, let him get a little closer. We're going to drop our Royal Giant in the middle to distract the Valkyrie. He's going to start off, I think, doing that same kind of push. He's going to put a Royal Giant right there. That's what I expected. We're going to drop a Hog. And then now some Barbarians to take down the Royal Giants. Hopefully we can take it down before it kills. Again, it's a level 9 Royal Giant. So those things are beastly. And he's taking a commanding lead. So it seems like at this stage, it looks like level 9s is the common level that we're kind of fighting against. And it's really tough when we have level 8 commons ourselves. And then that wizard is going to tear down our minions. So I don't think we have a path to victory in this match whatsoever. Let's attempt a giant hog push. See what he's got for answer to that. Maybe the uh, the answer to this is just to go pure offense. And he took that down with a Valkyrie and a minion squad. Look at all those troops. So a very solid deck he's got here. Mini P.E.K.K.A., Valkyrie, Wizard, Royal Giants. Very, very solid deck. Good game, man. We're seeing a lot of those Royal Giants. So now it's been, I think, three out of four games has been Royal Giants here. They did get that buff, which now it seems like everyone is using them. Is Royal Giant the new meta? Is that what you guys are fighting too? Or is it just something here in like the 2500 trophy range? It's all about the Royal Giants. Now let's drop some archers in the back here since we have nothing else to play. I can't start off the minion horde. I don't really like starting off with the hog rider as it costs a lot. Now we can start off with the hog. He dropped a ton with that giant skeleton. We're going to fireball up there. We're going to let the giant skeleton walk up past our bridge and then drop the, oh, barbarians. And he's going to do a very smart move and drop a wizard behind the, the giant skeleton. And the wizard's going to tear through those guys. Counter that wizard with some archers. Although I don't think it looked like we actually needed to do that. So maybe next time we'll just let the tower take care of the archers. The archers did get, I think, one shot off on the tower. Was not too effective. 
Throw the minion horde up there. Got to be quick with that. That should take him down. Does he gonna have arrows on that? He's gonna zap it, which is gonna be exactly the same as arrows. Tower's gonna take it down. So we know next time, if he drops a balloon, we drop the minion horde, and then if we drop something else, drop a hog or uh, or barbarians, he's probably gonna zap. So that means the other troop will be able to get up there. And if we can get it in front of those minion hordes, then we can do a lot of damage because the minion hordes will be alive still. We'll drop the spears way in the back here. And then we'll also just distract with the, the giant here. And then we're going to fireball. And as he's dealing with all that, we're going to sneak a hog in on the right. Wisely, he takes it out with the barbarians. It's worth a shot there, I thought, though. So barbarians and minions, and then let's drop a giant up here, because again, we're going to use... Oh, that was really nicely done, actually. The bomb from the balloon blew up the minions with the zap, killed them, which normally that kind of... Uh, the zap doesn't kill them, but the bomb from the balloon really helped out. So he's got a big horde. We're going to drop a fireball. That's going to clean all that stuff up. He's dropping a wizard. Let's drop a hog minion rush. Because I don't think he has archers or uh, arrows. But he's going to defend very nicely with the zap and his own minion horde. We're in deep trouble now because we used our minion horde up. Now we just have archers against the balloon. The balloon freeze is going to take down our tower. And we are going to lose this match because of that misplay. Ah. <sighs> Well, I think I'm done losing, so I think I'm done recording. Let me go back to playing offline, and I'll win some trophies back. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun. Hit that like button. Share the channel. Tell the people about the channel here if you want to see more Clash Royale or any other games. Post it down in the comment section.